Do you utilize JotForm approvals? Let me show you four updates to streamline your workflow. Hey JotFormers, welcome back. I'm Kimberly. Now we all know that the approval process gets kicked off with a form, but what happens if you want to assign another form based on the selections made within your approval process? Now you can, let me show you how. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and create an approval process. So I'm gonna go up to the top left-hand corner. Instead of my forms, we're gonna drop down to my approvals. And I'm gonna choose the green create approval button. And I'm gonna use a template for this. And I'm gonna come over here to marketing and let's use this affiliate approval process template. Now, before we make any changes, let's go up to the top and let's take a look at what this form looks like real quick. So we can see we have their name, address, website, email. So one thing that I wanna do is just to kind of give this an easy way to utilize conditional formatting, I'm gonna go ahead to the left-hand side, I'm gonna choose the form element and I'm going to add in the drop down right here. I'm just gonna put it right up here at the top. And I'm just gonna ask the question, how do you want to be paid? And then the options, we will do PayPal, Cash App, and Venmo. So that will allow us some options. So let's head back to our approval process. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and move some things around so that way we can make some space right up here at the top. And over on the left-hand side, I'm going to choose the conditional branch. We're gonna bring that right in here. Let's add our conditions. So add a new branch. So if the how do you want to be paid is equal to PayPal, and then let's call this one PayPal, save. Let's do one more branch. We'll just do this one, Venmo. So how do you want to be paid is equal to Venmo, save. We'll save one more time. Perfect. So now we can see it right here, it says select the branch. I'm gonna go ahead and click here and let's choose this one to be PayPal. So now we, we can see we have PayPal and it's going down into the approval process, but we want it to go to another form. Maybe some more information about PayPal that we need from them. So over on the left-hand side, I'm gonna grab this form. We're gonna put it right in here and then let's go ahead and choose our form. We'll go ahead and choose this one. And another great thing too, is you can utilize the pre-fill option. So that way they don't have to fill anything out. If you wanna turn that on, we can just do this and then choose the form. We'll do the affiliate registration form that we just did. But let's go ahead and head back. And we need the assignee email address. So I'm gonna go ahead and put one in, save. So I'm gonna go ahead and move this form right in where that PayPal was. So let's go ahead and select the branch again, PayPal. Perfect, let's move this up a little bit. So that is going straight to PayPal. We wanna add another one. We'll bring it right over here and let's add our element. We're gonna choose Venmo this time and then we need this to go to another form. Choose a different form, let's save. And then we'll go ahead and bring this right over here. And that is how we can utilize the conditional formatting to assign other forms within our approval process based on the approval process. Now, next up is sending PDFs. One of the best things that can happen to a company is when you guys as users demonstrate new ways to utilize our product. And we noticed that you were utilizing the approval report right over here to send PDFs. So instead of using approval report now, you can utilize actual PDF. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna move this down a little bit so that way you have some room. I'm gonna go ahead and drag in the PDF right here. I'm gonna go ahead and click on this right here and let's take a look at the settings. And you can see you can send submission PDFs of any of your forms that you are collecting or you can upload your own PDF as well. Next up is attaching PDFs in email. Now we've always been able to attach PDFs in the notification email, but it was clear from your feedback that you also wanted to attach PDFs through the approval email as well. And now you can. So down in the bottom left-hand corner, we can see the approval process and we can see the email right here. I'm gonna go ahead and click on the email settings, that top one. Then over on the right-hand side, I'm gonna go ahead and choose advanced. And then you can see you have three options for the PDF as well, including uploading your own PDF as well. And the last update is cloning your approval processes without a form. So let me go ahead and X out of this and let's head back to my approvals. And if you wanted to clone an approval process before the update, 
and you didn't want the forms, you would have to decouple and then spend twice as much time adding in your own forms. Well, now all we have to do is come to the approval process that we want to clone. We'll click on more, and then we can see that clone has some options. We can clone with the form, or we can clone without the form, really saving you some time. And it's as simple as that. If you have any questions about the updates shared in this video, let us know, and I'll see you next time.